Hi, I'm Lindsay Kirchhoff, and I'm here today with marketing CEO of Holland Mark, Chris Colbert, who's been great enough to have with me. You're hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. Trying to be hilarious, not professional or anything. No. No. But um, I was hoping today that you could walk me through the concept of one simple thing, which sounds pretty simple. Mm. Uh, the nature of man, um, as big as our brain is, our capacity to deal with complexity is actually pretty limited. And so that when we engage with things, again, people, brands, whatever, we seek to simplify. We seek to put simple labels on complex things in order to manage that information over time. And that's what spawned this concept of the one simple thing, the idea that when you go to position a brand or a business, particularly for the first time, you want to position it around a singular idea, an attribute, a benefit, an emotion that, the, that you want the marketplace to hold on to, to grasp, to, and ideally to find compelling. And so that's what the one simple thing thing is, is that, that attribute. Um, the measure of a good one simple thing is it's got to be true to the brand of the business. It's got to be relevant and motivating to the target market. And target is important. You know, everybody thinks the, the world is the market, and that's not true. The, the market is the target market that you define for your particular product or service. And then the last dimension of a great one simple thing is it's got to be distinct um, compared to direct competitors or even indirect competitors. The qualifier that I always say is just by being focused in your message, by declaring, you know, this is my one simple thing, that in and of itself is distinct. Mm -hmm. Because the vast majority of marketers, and this is particularly true of salespeople, they, they default to volume. They default to the, the opposite of the one simple thing. They, they go to the many things place. Yes. Because there's safety in that, right? If, I, if I'm selling something to you and I say, Lindsay, it's blue, it's 17, it's yellow, it's fine. You know, my hope is somewhere <laughs> one in of there, one of those things will me. magically sort of filter through to you and you will grasp it and you will be sold. But my theory is the spew of that causes people to either drown mm -hmm. or fall asleep. Yeah, get turned off. Or turned off. And again, salespeople, and I've had this conversation many times this week with different clients, salespeople really struggle with this idea of the one simple thing and getting to a very pointed place because theoretically there's risk in just saying, I'm all about this versus I'm about this or this or this or this or this. But I argue there's more risk in that than there is in this. It's not as focused. Do you establish your one simple thing? You can go on to build values and benefits based off of your one simple thing. Exactly. So the idea, the one simple thing, is not the end of the story; it's the beginning. And then you can build off. And once, then right. Once you are, once you have, I, I think of it sometimes as a wedge. And we, you, you and I have talked about this. The idea that at a cocktail party somebody comes up to you and says, "So Lindsay, what do you do?" You've got about 15 seconds to say something that's going to cause them to either say or not say, wow, tell me more. You know, you want that license to tell the rest of the story. And so the one simple thing is the idea within a sentence that is engaging enough and compelling enough that the human wants to invest in the rest of the story. And then the second part of that is it's engaging enough a story that that human wants to tell other people that story and can tell other people that story because the simplicity of it it's combined with its compellingness is transferable to others. That makes sense. But don't you think the one simple thing is more than just a hook to draw people in? I, absolutely. So it, it, to me, and I, it's, it's sometimes hard to impress this upon clients or get them to really um, embrace it. Um, to me, the one simple thing is kind of the beating heart of a brand, right? And and. It is the motivator, it is the guide, it is the, the filter for decisions and actions. It enables priorities, it helps you determine who to hire, it informs every dimension of the brand experience, the tangible, the intangible, in multi -sen multiple senses. It is the sort of... The, the, the one simple thing. The one simple thing, the hub of the entire, the entire brand, not just the brand experience, but the company experience.